Well, guys, we are officially coming up to week four of the NFL season. It's already going by really quickly, and honestly, I've got no clue what's even going on. I'm going to go over some quick standings, um, and, and yes, this is uh, just pretty much also saying my predictions are awful, but some things that we've not been surprising at all. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What are we not expecting? Dolphins at 1-2. and two. Nobody's expecting the Bengals to start 0-3. Ravens at 1-2. and two. The Jags and Titans both 0-3. Uh, Colts off to a tough start. Commanders are decent. They're 2-1. Uh, Cowboys 1-2. and two. Niners are 1-2. and two. Rams are 1-2. and two. The Seahawks off to a perfect start. The Vikings just on fire. Bucks, Saints off to solid starts. Vikings struggling. And it's just been a crazy start. I know I just went through a lot. And it's been a really bad start, too, for my predictions. Um, we're just going to ignore how bad I was last week. I'm not even lying. I'm in 5-11. And, and, and look, the reason why is because I picked games like the Texans over the Vikings games that pretty much everybody picked. I mean, Texans were at home. Vikings weren't even amazing at the time. They beat the Niners, obviously. And there's some other games, too, um, that I got wrong. I felt like pretty much every game. I don't know why I picked the Chargers over the Steelers or Raiders, Panthers. Come on, nobody's expecting that. But yeah, let's get into it. Here are my um, week four predictions. Uh, probably not going to be right. I'm probably going to go like 115, but let's get it. We're starting it off with a Thursday night game. It's the Cowboys and the Giants. And come on, I don't want to overthink this game. I want to pick the Dallas Cowboys to win the game. My gut is telling me that I'm going to be wrong and the Giants are going to go out there and they're going to go win themselves a football game against a team that they really never beat. I mean, the Cowboys have really owned the Giants. I think of a video on this channel where I pretty much talked about how the Cowboys like outscored the Giants by 50 points last year or something. But yeah, I, I'm going to I'm gonna pick the Cowboys to win this game. I don't know what I would be doing if I don't. Uh, starting off 10 a.m. games and the, the early slot, we got the Bengals and the Panthers. Bengals. They might be the worst team in the NFL. If not, then the Panthers probably are. <laughs> These two teams are just struggling. Bengals lost a, a Monday night game tonight to the Commanders. Um, but yeah, I, I have to give this game to the Cincinnati Bengals. I don't know how I could pick the, uh, the Panthers to win, even with Andy Dalton and coming off a really nice win against the Raiders. I don't think I can even pick them to win a football game. I don't even know what I'm saying. Next, we got the Saints and the Falcons, and this is just another another tough game to pick. The Falcons are hosting this game. I want to pick the Saints to win. Derek Carr and the Saints off to a really good start. Almost beat the Eagles in what was just an ugly game kind of for both teams, but it was a good game. Two decent football teams going at it. Two good football teams, and I'm going to pick the Falcons to win this game. I don't really know what else to do on this. It's just confusing, honestly. Like I, it, this these games are hurting my brain. Next we got Jags Texans. I'm gonna pick the Texans to win that game. Don't think we need to explain the Jags suck. Next we got the Broncos and the Jets. Another one where I just don't think Bo Nix is gonna have a good game. I don't think he's a good quarterback. Jets Rogers really good roster. They're gonna get that win. Next we got one of the most interesting games of the week. I think this probably might be the game of the week. Uh, no, Bills-Ravens is the game of the week. But this is a really good game. we got the Vikings and the Packers. This is a good one. Vikings 3-0. Justin Jefferson, Sam Darnold, just been an electric duo. That defense has been amazing. Aaron Jones has been really solid. Packers have been amazing ever since that uh, Sao Paulo loss in Brazil. Uh, they, they've been good. They, they're coming off a nice win against the Texans. They beat the Colts. couple nice wins against the AFC South. But I'm going to pick... The I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna pick the Vikings over to to beat the pa uh, Packers in this game and listen it was close I actually had the Packers written down as a win in this but I changed my mind in this last second I don't want to bet against Sam Darnold and Justin Jefferson right now nasty duo the Packers I I don't know I just have a feeling I just have a feeling that that game's gonna be a win for the Vikings next we got the Steelers and the Colts. And look, I would take the Colts to win this game. I think I, I like the Colts. I like picking the Colts to win these games. They're one and two. Obviously, they are off to a tough start. But the Steelers are off to an incredible start. The Steelers, 3-0. They beat in, what, the Broncos? The, the They beat in some bad teams. But their defense is truly amazing. And I have to pick the Steelers to win this game. And they're going to advance to 4-0. I hate to say, I have, a, I have a friend, good friend that's a Steelers fan. He's been rubbing it in. Niners are 1-2. Steelers are 3-0. But the Steelers are going to get that win. Next, we've got the Rams and the Bears. I think this is another really solid game. The Rams coming off, um, uh, I mean, a, a 
good comeback win against the Niners, one that I never would have thought was going to happen and just stunning. But the Bears and Caleb Williams need to get back on track. Caleb Williams is just off to the worst possible start that you could imagine for him. If you're a Bears fan, you got to be like killing yourself right now. Justin Fields is on the Steelers. You're wishing you still had that man, Justin Fields. But I think Caleb Williams is going to have a good game. I don't like the Rams. I got to pick the Bears to win that game. Final game of the early window, we got the Eagles and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Actually, not the final game, just the way that Google lists it. I'm going to pick the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to win this game. The reason why is Baker Mayfield, Mike Evans, Bucky Irving. I guess you could say the number one. I made a video about that. Go watch that video. I, I think that the I think that the Buccaneers are a really solid team, and they just had a, a mental collapse against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. What was the final score of that game? Um, we're looking at a 26-7 uh, game. 26-7. The Broncos destroyed them. Not even close. Um, and, and I'm going to pick the Bucks to get back on track and beat the Eagles. Starting it off here with the 1 o'clock games, you got the Patriots and my Niners, and I'm going to give this one to my Niners. Commanders and the Cardinals, a couple a couple Cs, and when next we got the Chiefs and Chargers, a bunch of Cs. Uh, Commanders are a decent football team after what we saw tonight. Jaden Daniels, he's already my pick for a uh, Rookie of the Year, Offensive Rookie of the Year, whatever you want to call it, Rookie of the Year. I didn't pick him to win that award. I think he will win that award. I'm going to pick the Commanders, but don't get me wrong, I'm becoming a big Big Kyler Murray fan. I think he's really good. I've been watching those vlogs. Go watch his vlogs. They're actually really interesting. Uh, like day in the life of like NFL QBs and that sort of stuff. So go watch those. But I'm going to pick the Commanders to win this game. Next, we got the Chiefs and the Chargers. I hate the Chiefs, but I mean, I don't want to bet against them. I'm going to give them the win. Next, we got the Browns and the Raiders. This is... No, oh, this game is beyond my ears. I don't know how to pick this game. Uh, so yeah, the Browns are on the road. And look, yeah, again, I don't know how to pick this game. The Browns have been playing just so bad. The Raiders suck, but they're coming off an awful loss against the Panthers. While the Browns are coming off an awful loss against the Giants. And while the Browns are the better football team in this game. And I want to pick the Browns. The Raiders are at home and the NFL has been so weird this year. But no, I got to pick the Browns. I got to pick the Browns. You can't lose to the Panthers and get a win the next week, no matter who you're playing. Next, we got the Ravens and the Bills in the game of the week. The Bills undefeated. They are 3-0. They're coming off with just an amazing win tonight against the uh, Commanders. Or not against the Commanders. Coming off with a nice win against the Jags. 47-10. Absolutely just destroyed them. Not even close. But the Ravens, they're a good team. They're 1-2. and two. They're coming off a nice win against the Cowboys. Two teams coming off pretty solid wins. I'm going to pick the Ravens. They are at home. So I'm going to give them a slight edge. I would not be surprised if the Buffalo Bills win that game, though. So prove me wrong, Bills. I don't know. We'll see. Monday night games. we got two Monday night games. It's actually funny. Titans-Dolphins. Last year, the Titans came back. Will Levis' first game in the NFL, or one of his first games, his first good game in the NFL. And the Dolphins blew that game. But uh, Dolphins off to a tough start. Titans off to probably the worst start in the NFL. Um, and I have to pick the Dolphins to win this game. I don't want to, but I have to. Finally, we got the Seahawks and the Lions. I'm going to pick the Lions to round out my predictions this week over the Seahawks. Who really knows? I don't... Like, like half that video was me stumbling because I don't know what to pick this week. It's just so confusing. My picks are so unbelievably bad this year. I am 22 and 28. 22 and 28. Yeah, I think I'm 22 and 28, if I'm not mistaken. Or no, 22 and 26. I don't even know. I'm going to have to add it up. But my picks are so bad this year. Hope you guys all enjoyed this. Just, I don't even know, this guessing video. But that's it for my week four predictions. And I'll see you guys for week five. And hopefully, we can have some solid, like, 13, 3, 12, 4 predictions. Because it's not been going well this year.